to edit or not to edit your podcast audio? That is the question. You know, as a podcast producer and guy who runs a company who produces podcasts for a living, I get this question all the time. How much editing should I do? Well, I think it starts out with editing philosophies. Philosophy number one is... Editing makes my audio sound too polished. I like it natural. And I totally get that. I understand you want it to be natural, feeling like the real you, like your guests are coming across as authentic. But there are some issues with that. What if you get a guest who is just really bad in the way they speak and they ramble on and on and they restate themselves seven times before they get to their point? I mean, that can make for a very unpleasant experience for your listeners. Philosophy number two is... I believe in editing out everything that isn't perfect. I want a tight, succinct audio file. I get this one as well. You want to make sure that all those things I mentioned in philosophy number one that are bad points don't happen in your audio. The problem is you can cut it so tight. You can make it so pressed together. You can make it so perfect that the people on the listening side don't really believe you're real and therefore they tend not to trust you as much. So what's the happy balance? Well, that's what I would call philosophy number three. Great editing is applied for the sake of comprehension and quality only. This is the kind of audio editing I've taught my team at Podcast Fast Track to use when they edit audio. It addresses technical issues like glitches or levels or background noise. It also addresses speaker issues like someone who restates themselves seven times, like someone who has filler words that are like habitual quirks that they say all the time. It helps you to make it still a very real feeling conversation, but one that's more enjoyable to listen to, one that you comprehend more easily, and one that has all the technical issues like leveling and balancing and background noise taken care of so it doesn't either hurt your ears or cause you to strain because you can't hear what's being said. Another thing people often say to me is, man, editing is so time consuming. How can I figure out the balance between how much time I should devote to it and what's, what it's really worth? Well, yep, there's no question. The kind of editing that we're talking about does require time. And depending on how skilled you are at editing, potentially lots of time. On top of that, you've got to know how to use your audio editing software effectively for the kinds of things that you're doing, whether it's compression or leveling or noise reduction or whatever. If you use Audacity, I have a great course you can check out. It's called Audacity for Podcasting, and you can find it at audacityforpodcasting.com. If you use Adobe Edition, Logic Pro, or even Hindenburg, there are courses on the internet that you can find, and I'll include them in the notes for this episode. Now, keep in mind, on none of these have I done these courses because I don't use those softwares. But the ones that look pretty good to me when I look through the descriptions, the Adobe one that I'm going to have in the show notes link is 15 bucks on Udemy. The one for Logic Pro, it's also on Udemy, it's 15 bucks. And then I found some tutorials from Hindenburg on their actual site that are absolutely free. That's a very valid question. But as with anything in life, it comes down to weighing the costs, both in time and in money. What is it worth to you to get the outcome that you're seeking? Here's a quick formula that I often advise people to use. Consider what the value is of an hour's worth of your time times the time it takes you to edit. And that's going to give you the cost that it's costing you right now doing the editing on your own. So, for example, say you value your time at $75 an hour and it takes you two hours to edit. Well, that's $150 worth of time you're investing into that particular episode. So you could say the cost of you editing it yourself is $150 per episode. But you also need to figure in the amount of enjoyment you get out of doing the editing. And so if you do your own editing and you really hate doing it, well, to me, that costs the cost of you doing the editing to go even higher. And so in short, if the cost is more in terms of time and joy for you to do the editing than it is for you to hire someone else to do the editing, man, you should hire that sucker out right away. You know, it's hard to say what you're going to expect to pay for a handful of reasons. Number one, every company or freelancer 
is going to have their own rates. Plus, those rates are going to vary depending on the length of the audio you provide, the degree of editing that you want, and many other things. I can speak for my team, for Podcast Fast Track. We average, and keep in mind this is an average, about $75 per episode that it would cost us to edit your audio. That's for up to an hour of time for the raw audio file, but don't quote me on that because if your episodes are shorter or require less editing, it's gonna cost you less. If your episodes are longer and require more editing, it's gonna cost you more. And if you want an NPR style show, you know, with all the music and sound effects and background stuff, man, we should talk because that's gonna be a little more and it's gonna need a lot more communication to make that happen. You know, I've heard raging success stories from people who say that they found someone in the Philippines or in India who does their audio editing for them. It comes out exactly like they want, and it only costs them 25 bucks an episode. Well, I am so thrilled for that person, but in my experience, that's the exception and not the rule. In my experience, people from those countries tend to lack the skills needed to do the job right, so it's a training issue or they don't have adequate English skills to understand and implement what it is you're wanting done. And that's a cultural issue. And in addition, if there is a person who has both those skills nailed down, they are super hard to find. And my disclaimer is that this is not a prejudiced or bigoted opinion. It's just my assessment of the facts in this case as I see them. Hello? So should you do audio editing on your own show? Should you hire someone else to do it for you? As you can see, there are a number of things that go into that decision. And it's a personal decision that you have got to make about your show. But I'm hopeful that what I've covered in this session gives you some new things to think about as you make the decision for what you want in your show. This show is brought to you by Podcast Fast Track, where my team provides professional podcasting services without the time suck. Full production, editing, and show notes, all in one monthly subscription package. You can find out more at podcastfasttrack.com. Now go out and make it a podcastificating day.